Hi, my name is Odile Bouchard. I'm the marketing manager at Quinto do Tedo, my family's um, winery in Dodo Valley where we make port wines and Dodo Doc red and rosé wines. I'm here today in Avenida dos Aliados. We are basically in the center of Porto. This is a very iconic meeting ground for a lot of people. It's also a main artery for the city. You can see there's lots of buses, cars passing around me and we're right next to Sao Bento, the historic train station. So this area was named after the Allied forces from World War I. And as I said, it's just a, a convention zone in Porto and a main spot that you should visit if you come to Porto. So the first thing you should look for when you're trying to identify what type of wine is inside the port bottle. Well, the first and most important thing you should look at is the seal of approval, which comes from the IVDP. This is the institution that regulates the production and also the quality of port wine. And if you see the seal of approval, you know that it's been tasted and approved by the IBDP. You also know that this port wine is coming specifically from Dodo Valley. Nowadays, you have a lot of other parts of the world that produce port style wines, such as the United States, Canada, South Africa, even Australia. But this specific seal of approval by the IBDP means that this port wine comes from Dodo Valley. So the next thing you want to look for on a port wine bottle is what is the port house? So on every port wine bottle, you will have the Quinta or the brand from which the port was produced. Another important thing to look for is if it's from one single year or if it's a blend of various years. Here in my hand, I have a late bottled vintage 2015. If you see the date of harvest on the bottle, it means it comes from that specific year. Fine Tawny, on the other hand, is a blend of various harvests to produce that specific port wine. What's important to notice is that if the port wine is coming from one specific year, it is generally a singular expression of that harvest and normally they're very good harvests. You have late bottled vintages and vintages and colletas that fall into this category of coming from one year. Tawnies and rubies, tawny 10 year, tawny 20 year, tawny 30 year, these are port wines that come from blends of harvest and these represent really the port house style that will be consistent every single year. Okay, so an important thing to consider is that in the port wine category, there's various styles of port wine. One big difference is port wines that are aged in cask or port wines that are aged in bottle. Rule of thumb that you can be safe to go by is that all vintage port wines that have the age or the vintage in which it was harvested on the bottle will be bottle aged port wines. On the other hand, you have tawnies, for example, like this tawny 20 years that has been aged in cask. Some of the most predominant ports you find on the market are Tawnies and Rubies. These are both blended style ports. And one basic rule of thumb that you could go by to basically identify what style of port it will be is that Tawnies are generally aged for longer time in smaller casks. So they're a little bit more um, caramelized, more on the aged fruits, dried nuts, lighter in color. Whereas Rubies are aged for less time in larger casks, so they will be a bit more robust, have more bright, fresh red and black fruits, and be more young in style. A good thing to know is that you don't need to be Portuguese to understand port wine labels. You don't even need to speak Portuguese. Um, historically, port wine was always made by Portuguese, but for a mostly English consumption centuries ago. So port wine labels will always be listed in English. So you can rest assured that the international language is something that you can understand port wine by without having to speak Portuguese. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you all continue to follow School of Port and listen to these fun educational videos. And next time you're in Portugal, come visit Quinto do Tedo where you can try our Tawny 20 Years or our Vintage 2003 and learn more about port wine production and the place that it comes from, the beautiful Dodo Valley. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching and tune in more School of Port later.